Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Awum Kenneth and if this is your first time here, please subscribe. We are on the go to reach a thousand subscribers before the year runs out and I would be very grateful if you could assist me in getting that goal. And also remember to hit the like button because YouTube has to recommend more of the videos I make here for you and you will not miss out, right? So this video is all about Opay. So Opay is the app taking the Nigerian market by storm. Especially like all the markets to be honest because they are both in food, wealth, cash, loans, like it's surprising. So they are here for mobile money. Let's call that clear and simple. Opay as we all know or so much of that don't know is owned by Opera Mini and Opay stands for Opera Pay or Opera Paycom, the other company that is also involved in this joint venture with Opera Mini. So Opera Mini is a browser and right now they have established beyond browsers. They now have, uh, I think, a news app and an ad network, right? So now they're also trying to like invest in Africa in terms of like technology and internet, basically trying to be like the Facebook and Google of Africa or Nigeria for stats. And it's very interesting to see how this will develop. So far they have set aside a hundred million dollars, right? And so far, $50 million has gone to OP, although the money will be spent in stages in terms of progress and $50 million is like 18 billion naira for a startup company to be using as cash flow runway, which is exciting to see and just track the progress. So, so far, Ope has been in Nigeria for less than a year and right now they have a very good solid brand in terms of like the discounts they are given which has somewhat made it go viral. So you will be surprised to see that okay a startup came to Nigeria or a startup got foreign investors and they established in Nigeria and they are not just in Lagos alone, they are also expanding out of Lagos. In fact, they are not even sent out on Lagos because they feel like Lagos is saturated and fighting for other markets is much more viable than just staying in Lagos. Now, it's also important to know here that OP now currently has a million downloads on the Android Play Store and it's just so exciting to see how they're able to establish that. And I'm sure the managers at AdWords, that's the ad network owned by Google, will be like, oh, thank you, Lord, we've got a solid new client today. Because to get 1 million downloads using ads is very expensive, and that just tells you a different story entirely. Now, OP, as we all know, has various features on the phone. So we have O Food. O cash, O loan, I think there's O wealth, then there's O trek, the like Kikina Pep one, which I used. Um, I think there's also O ride and some other variations of O's that will be coming on. Sort of reminds you of like Linda KG, Linda KG blog, Linda KG TV, Linda KG social, those kind of things, right? Linda KG book, <laughs> Linda KG banana island. I think I'm just joking. But one important thing here that I find very familiar is the Chinese app Weibo. So we, on Weibo, you could do basically anything you want. So not anything, anything but like it's like your one-stop shop for things concerning the internet. So you have your browser, you have your social media, you can do transfers. It's like just home, basically, on the internet, right? And Nigerians might know the subset of Weibo, which is WeChat. So it just kind of gives you that familiar feeling with Weibo. So I think that's what OP is trying hard to accomplish here in Nigeria. And it's just going to be awesome trying to see the progress they make so far and just see how long they're able to keep this up because every day people are just being reminded that nigerians or the nigerian market is unforgiving once they hate you or once they don't like you they don't like you anymore and we are somewhat not loyal <laughs> to be honest that's the stats out there i don't know about you though like i said it's just gonna be interesting to see how far op can keep the momentum going but so far, they are outside out of Lagos, they are in Enugu, they are in Jos, where I currently stay, they are in some other major cities in Nigeria. And one funny thing that I've noticed is that normally KK drivers have future phones, so future phones like touchlight phones, phones that basically you just do messages and phone calls and you call it a day, you are done, dusted and you sleep, right? But nowadays you see more KK drivers or tricycle drivers having more smartphones. So 
and you need a smartphone to operate the app which I find very, very good um, in terms of like the inclusion with the kidnapping drivers having to buy more like, like techno phones or journey phones to be able to do business on the app which is very good in terms of like building the digital age or the digital economy then another thing again that I find very very key with this app is it's also helping to fight the let's say financial exclusion in Nigeria. I could say Africa, but let's just start with Nigeria. So the app is said to be licensed by CBN for mobile money, and basically Nigeria has a high record of unbankable people. And I feel like unbankable means that people who don't have bank accounts. And I feel like with O Wallet, which is also a future under OP, people get to now access financial services that they wouldn't have gotten before anyway. So basically the um, the local market woman who sells tomato or crayfish could just get um, her money transferred instead of someone paying cash, which is way safer and much more accountable um, in terms of like seeing progress of sales and all that. So it's just gonna be an interesting journey. Like I just keep repeating here, it's just going to be an interesting journey to watch OP grow and succeed. But we also have to remember that there are other competitors out there so there's mac ng for instance but what just makes me very curious is if a foreign company is coming down into nigeria to invest this amount of money then why then the nigerian millionaires and billionaires are not looking into this space or are they also investing but with other different names apart from their family names or something or are they investing in shell companies that then go ahead and to invest into these apps because it just brings in the mind that Everybody here needs transport and one day you're just going to have to transport yourself so one day you're going to use this app for example. So something very important also here is the market size and I don't know the current stats of the market size right now but it's very big in terms of like we all need transport mediums to allow to go to work or go home or even go for vacations right. So the market size has potential. So the reason here is like why are Nigerian investors not going in full on this? or the money that OPE is invested is too much and you could basically achieve the same level of growth with a lesser um, capital. But like I said, these are like questions that I want to ask and if you have answers to them, leave a comment below and hit the like button. It's just very interesting to see how this will play. Now some of the services on OPE that you can make include like I think you can get a loan, but I'm not sure of that, but there's, an, there's a future called O-Loan. You can get a loan, you can transfer cash, you can, there's a wealth management app, I think O-Wealth, I haven't looked into it. There's o -Trek, that's the only future I have used so far, and the transfer one, so I can tell you that works. And you can pay for food, you can pay for your electricity bill, you can pay for DSTV, you can also pay for bed ninjas, so <laughs> gamblers out there, this is an app for you, so... <laughs> anyway, I used the Ultrek Future on the OP app and I found it somewhat interesting. At first, I didn't want to download the app because I didn't see the value add in this app and just it's very cheap or a somewhat affordable place and I didn't see the value add in terms of like transport. We already have cheaper transport here and that just didn't communicate to me properly. But out of the views one day, I just decided to use the app. My friend has really forced me to download the app in the first place. So I decided to use the app. So I decided to use the app and I went further to like book a ride, which I did, but I made a mistake. I put a wrong address in the app and I found that you could not edit while on transit. On Uber, you could do that, but on this app, you can't. We just went ahead with the trip and nothing happened. I was charged, I think, 125 Naira uh, for that trip. Uh, that's that, the discount value I paid. The main fee was somewhat 300 Naira, so that was like 50% discount on that trip which was very, very good <laughs> in terms of like, if you like free things, right? So I feel like the app needs more updates or they are constantly turning out more updates for this app to make it more better. But like the core functionalities of this app works. So, but in terms of security, I don't know much about security for the app. So always be conscious and do your research when using apps like this. And in terms of distribution, they are using what I call the Dangote scheme or the Dangote way. Whatever idea is a manufacturing headquarters somewhere and there are tons and tons of like outlets scattered around. So right now there are tons of agents going around for OP. So if you want to withdraw money, um, if there's no, if you don't have an ETM, close by you could just walk up to an agent and 
um, you could do that or the agent could also help you understand the app and make use of it which I find very helpful in terms of like people are skite people are very skeptical about the app and that just builds more trust Imagine your family member recommending this app to you, you would definitely want to test it out, right? Because you feel like that source is more trustful and more reliable, which makes, which makes it more convincing for you to use the app. Anyway, this is all I have for you guys here. See you on my next one and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button.